Hello and welcome to my backlight replacement project for the Yamaha TG77. As you can see, my LCD is still very sharp, but the backlight is basically gone. In order to be able to open the case, we need to remove all the screws. That's two at the top, two on each side and three in the back. This is the easiest part. After removing the case, we need to remove the wire casing, which is on the left. So there are two screws to be taken off, after which we can remove the metal box. The metal box needs to be removed so we can access the actual power cable for the display. So we unplug this one, it's the one in the front. Otherwise we won't be able to remove the display later. So just plug this one out very carefully. And then there is a data cable, the ribbon cable, which is the gray one with the green stripe in the picture. I couldn't get a good video of it. It's very hard to get out, so be careful when you pull that one off the mainboard. After that is done, you unscrew the front panel. That's done by removing three screws at the top. one on each side, and then there is some additional tricky screws that are on the inside along the bottom, and uh, that's three of them. Please check the description below this video where you get additional information on how to locate these screws. After this is done, we need to remove some elements from the front. This is the data entry slider, that's easy. Then the volume knob, um, the inner one you can pry out if you press very hard, but then the outer rim is very, very difficult and I couldn't get it even with pliers until I realized that you can carefully push from the rear, there is an opening with a screwdriver, and if you gently push you can actually also remove this outer volume rim. There we go. Now finally we can remove the front panel, maybe pull down and tilt a little and then finally we have access to the LCD. Now we unscrew the display, that's four screws, and then we have to be careful when we take it off because there is uh, still the power wire and the data ribbon, so careful when you get those out of the box. And now there is four more screws so that we can remove the plastic frame and then finally we are done with unscrewing and can get on with the actual job. And this is the LCD display in all its glory. And now we need to cut the backlight wires of the existing backlight so that it won't get any power anymore. Be very careful, you need a sharp knife or some very small scissors. Take your time to do that. So we need to cut those two. After the cutting is done, we can try to get the old backlight out, but in my case it didn't work. At the same time I also ripped off the power cable, so I'll have to resolder that one as well. So this is the backlight panel. It doesn't look like much, it's just like a piece of cardboard that is laminated. The seller nicely also wrote on the rear side which is the rear side, so the pink side goes up. And you just slide it in between the old backlight and the LCD. That's perfectly okay, there is enough room to do that. Just be sure you do it straight because there is a lot of room still. And once you're sure you have it straight, then you can solder it to those power connectors and then at the same time I also resoldered the power cable that had gotten loose. And now we test the backlight. We plug it back in. We don't need the data cable for that. Careful with the high voltage, don't touch anything. And we can see that the light is working. And now we reassemble and this is what it looks like in the end. It's definitely brighter than before. It's not as bright as all my other sound modules but we're definitely in a much better situation now. For additional information, please check the text below this video.